Last time on Trials of Mana. I did with the revision. Yeah. I changed the boat. Because. If I was George Lucas, they'd be like, he changed the boat. I know. The original boat was so much better. Well, because it's also, it's different. Like, we're not Stephen King who can knock a book out in a weekend. Episode 32, Triad of Darkness. Welcome back to some more of Trials of Mana. All right, one Benevadon remains. We're going to stock up and take on the Benevadon of Darkness. Oh, man. <laughs> I would say that's probably one of my favorite Benevadons. It's a really cool yeah, design, aesthetics. yeah. For sure. I definitely like the design. Um, I'd say it, its music could be a bit more because like, it has a really cool opening theme. And then, like, when the real battle starts, it switches to political pressure. Which, hmm. it's one of those songs that just, it plays late in the game, and then it plays in every sinister moment, so it loses that potency. Oh, yeah. There's a couple games that do that. Dragon Quest XI actually does that a lot, to where, like, the same theme will recycle. Yeah. Because they spend so much money on, like, each song, and it's yeah. such a huge game. Instead of doing more songs, they, they just reuse yeah. the song. I don't know that I mind that. Um, but I, I feel like for, like, a big boss that this is, it should have its own song. Yeah. Because, like... If it was, like, a regular boss, then yeah, mm -hmm. recycle. But, like, the Benevidons are supposed to be, like... Well, their original translation in the fan, um, the fan translations before mm -hmm. this game officially came to stateside were the God Beasts. Okay. I like that. Benevidon yeah. was, like, the official name, but people translated them to the God Beasts. I like it. So they were like the God Beast of Earth, the God Beast of Darkness. And like Benevadon is actually, you have to keep in mind, this game came out in like 1995. Yeah. So when it was fan translated from like 1999 to like 2018, God Beast stuck with the community. Yeah. So it'd be like, Benevadon, what the hell is that? Yeah. It's actually one of the few complaints is like the official names don't have as much punch as... I mean, I like the... The ones they translated? I, I like them both. I think Benevidon makes it its own thing. Yeah, it does. <coughs> but God Beast does make it sound like ethereal. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> so now we're going to the Jungle of Visions. And, uh... This level is different if you select a different yeah, character. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think I I don't think I did this. Yeah, because like Hawkeye's character, I believe they go to the desert. Duran and Angela, they go to like the dark caves. Okay. And uh, for Kevin and Charlotte, they go to the jungle of visions. Hmm. But it's all the same. Uh, for the cavern and the desert, it kind of fits the Benevidon of Darkness to be there. Yeah. But in this area, you watch, it's it's kind of odd. The Dark Stone is just kind of chilling. He's just like. Oh, hey. What's up, fam? I'm just like, what are you doing here? It's it's light as hell. <laughs> I feel like... Hang on. What's up? I feel like I, like, I... Should be here. This area, like, Maybe we should I went be to this area. We yeah, this town appears before you enter your final okay. dungeon. Yeah. So the town's always going to be here. Yeah. And it serves the same purpose. But it branches off into your final dungeon. I think I just on had like the a character you chose. Brain fart. Oh, that's okay. Boop boop be doo. I've been having that a lot today. <laughs> brain farts. <laughs> oh my god! Just like it's all right. Really dumb moments. <laughs> we went to get your car inspected. Oh my god! I was so happy. And um, there's a car wash, uh -huh. like right down the street. That's only like a dollar to get your car washed. And mm -hmm. so we both drove in your car yeah. since gas prices are outrageous. And uh, I had the thought of like, oh, well, while we're out here, I should get my car washed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't drive my car. Yeah, you rode with me. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, my God, what an idiot. I love you anyways. <laughs> I don't remember what my second idiot thought was today. I don't remember either. I'm sure it'll come on back. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, this area is lost to time. Where is everybody? It's a ghost town. I feel like I would very much enjoy living in an area like this. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Where, like, all the buildings are dilapidated and in ruins. Except for the one that I would have to, like, sleep in. Okay. So I don't want wild animals on me while yeah. I'm sleeping. You don't want any rabbits crawling in and be like... 
I don't know. Depending on how nice they are, like, if you want to <laughs> snuggle, man, I'm snuggler. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if, like, rabbits, like, lunge at you upon sight. Because well, they do in this game to an extent. It like, it's is, but it's like start, you're. But and you immediately start hopping yeah. towards you. But it's also like, they could be like, ha, ah, friend! And then you kick it in the face. <laughs> and then it's like, not a friend! Like, ah! yeah. So I, I think it's questionable. Yeah. There's some enemies where I see them and I'm just like, oh yeah, it's foe. Yeah. But this is one of the games where I'm just everything like, they're is so cute. adorable. Yeah, everything is cute. I'd say I Am Satsuna is the other one. Where, like, most of the regular monsters are adorable. Yeah. Only the bosses look like legit threats. Whereas, like, I think there was two things in Yee's where I'm like, aww. No, Yee's mostly just looks like, oh. Yeah. Especially Yeez, when you discover it's, it's the land of the primordials. It's all just kind of like, I poop a little. <laughs> um, but, like, there is one little, like, dinosaur creature that you're just like, aww. Oh, yeah, so that cute. bit. And then, like, spoiler alert. Uh... <laughs> It's like the bass drops and like all their eyes turn red. And yeah. They all like fan out like the little dinosaur in, in Jurassic Park. Yeah, in the Lost World yeah. Jurassic Park, those little just, green dinosaurs. Yeah. And then they just go evil. That's what I was reminded of. And then I'll be a son of a bitch if they didn't go that route. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Because even all the characters are like, oh my gosh, look at how cute they are. Whereas Dragon Quest has like a range of all of them, just yeah. silly, threatening. I like, I like the cruel cumber. Yeah, the cruel cumber. It's my favorite. I like platypunk. The platypunk. Platypunk. Gotta love that damn platypunk, buddy. I just like the way the cruel cumber like, mm -hmm, like it just wiggles. And the bosses are really cool too. All right, so we're gonna get ourselves some very powerful weapons for the battle ahead. Take on the last couple bosses. Oh yeah. So I was having this discussion with you the other day that I am very eager to like get through the games, but I also do like how every game has its time to shine. Yeah. Every game has room to breathe. It has its moment in the sun. Yeah. Because we were looking back on all the games we've completed already, and mm -hmm. we're only into year two, and we forgot about Wizards and Warriors. Yeah, that was the one now, that granted, I granted, Wizards like... and Warriors is a very short game. Yeah, I think it was like three parts total. But if we like blazed through these games and like streamed them all and like did a game like Trials of Mana in like a week. Oh, and, God. And like, a game shorter in like a day or two, I feel like they'd all end up being like. They'd be forgotten about. Yeah, for Wizards sure. and Warriors. They wouldn't leave much of an impression. Because yeah. again, these are, you know, these are for us to look back on as a yeah. memory bank, but it's also for us to share with you guys with our viewers of mm -hmm. like hey this is what we're playing we want to know what you're playing like, yeah you know we want to know what games you're interested in too what games do you want to see get the old yeah. gaming cats and dogs experience um that's important as well yeah trying to build a little look at you little cactus up there on a <gasps> perch little cactus. should i jump i know little cactus <laughs> is having like an internal like crisis of like i'm gonna do it and Kevin you is like, hey, little cactus. You treasure boxes and little <laughs> cactus sightings. So this is a really cool perk. So now you're actually going to see unopened chests on the map. He did. He just like fell backwards and exploded. <laughs> <gasps> little cactus, no! It's like, um, oh, I'm blanking. There, there's a character that like falls back and they think she falls to her death, but she actually gets caught. Like, I feel like that was in Quest for Camelot, only that wasn't intentional. So I'm thinking of another movie. Yeah, I mean, it does happen in Quest for Camelot. In Quest for Camelot, she loses her footing, but she's surprised that Garrett catches her, even yeah. though there's a stick lodged up her back. So I'm like, Yeah, I'm like, that definitely would have impaled her, <laughs> but... Whoops! It's a cartoon, so we'll look past it. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not going to look at the fact that he just sheesh kebobbed Kaylee. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Bring Haley in! Haley's gone. Oh, did I say Haley? No. Because <laughs> Kaylee Welcome. definitely would have been shish kebab, so she'd need yes. her double Haley. Oh, okay. To come in and uh, do a stand in. Sorry, I got a little confused it's there. All right. Who the fuck is Haley? Who, who is Haley? Get all the goodies. I had one at this. And, um. I don't like the shopkeeper as much. He doesn't dance. It's disappointing. He was lost through time. He's just very rigid. 
I will say that at the time of this recording, this is the first time we're doing commentary after my big clean. Yeah. So we're really hoping that like we're the starting to like drops and stuff will get rid of the drops and yeah. solve the issue of the drops. That way we can stream some co-op games. Yeah. But more importantly, so that we can just get these going quicker. Yeah. Because it's a real toast stubber when you're just like, oh god, now the audio's out of sync. Well, <laughs> I, I'm gonna call it out. This is the second time we recorded all this. Alright, alright. <laughs> we danced around it. I'm just like, eventually the bottom's gonna drop out and you're just like, I'm gonna call it out. And like, here it comes. Um, yeah, we, we recorded this one already and uh, it's something I do all the time. So like, it's, n it's not really a big deal, but it was accidentally deleted. Yeah. During the whole purge. Um, yeah, so we had to re record. So, doing it again. so forgive us if I get confused. Like, weren't we here before? <laughs> did we, we, did we already see this? this? Um. <laughs> well, for you, you probably saw this like eight different times because, like, we've been through this game a lot. Yeah. Whereas a game like Klonoa, it, you're seeing it for the first yeah. time. Whereas, so, like, like, that is your genuine reaction. I think for this, this is like my. A boy in his blob third time seeing this okay so because i couldn't really see it whenever I, you when you played it for the first time yeah because i was watching it via video chat so it was like very quarantine. so uh, it was just washed out overexposed I could, yeah i could just see a except white for like screen. certain dark areas yeah so it was like occasionally I could see like a color pop out mm -hmm. or like if you were standing in one place long enough it would focus well, well. Yeah, but for the most part, I just saw a white screen. Yeah. The fact that you sat through all of that, even though you only saw a white screen, was amazing. Because you'd think you'd just be like, wow, this is boring Alas. shit. I can't see fucking... Oh, well, see, I would like... I couldn't see anything. I would like set my phone up. A lot of that time I was writing the um, creature collection okay. and doing research on that. So like... Because that was when my room just was, glance every was still upstairs. Mm -hmm. So I would put my phone up because it has like a little kickstand. So I would put my phone up next to my computer, so while I was typing and researching, I could still, like, look at my phone. Gotcha. Because you would call me out a couple times, like, are you typing? Are you watching? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm watching. I'm definitely watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, wow, that was pretty funny. And then you're just like, yeah? <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, didn't you see it? No. <laughs> well, because I felt bad. Every time I was like, I can't see anything, you yeah. would, like, pause the game and try to fix it. And I'm like, it's uh, just a matter of, like... Okay. I'm watching through a cell phone, you know, onto a TV, like it just... Gotcha. So I didn't want you to stop and try and get it so I could watch it. I wanted you to enjoy the game, yeah. but I also didn't want to sit for two hours looking at a white screen. <laughs> so I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm going to try to be productive. Yeah, that's fair. And eventually what I did was I just pulled my computer closer to me and did the touch screen so you couldn't hear my keyboard. Oh, uh, okay. So, so I could still watch and talk to you, but be productive at the same okay. time. Because I know there were some sessions where you just like flat out fell asleep. Oh, I yeah. I was just like, oh, well, good night, hon. <laughs> there was one time I fell asleep at my desk and you like hung up and called so that the ringer would wake me up. Yeah. But. Well, see, I don't allow that anymore. No. Like moving in, I'm just like, come on, hon, to bed. Yeah. Off with ye. Where I don't know, especially like when I was upstairs, I would fall asleep at my desk a lot. Mm -hmm. But I think it was also my desk was right next to my bed. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'd be like a little bit longer, and then I just would never make it. Because like back at my parents' place, I would literally roll out of bed and get there's right, your desk, yeah, yeah, get right into my chair and start working, or I'd just be like, all right, I'm gonna five more minutes. Yeah. All right, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna blow up. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas just I never, gonna I never, back. I never made it. <laughs> Just gonna lean back like little cactus there and just pop onto the bed. <laughs> I would just tilt forward and face palm onto the desk. <laughs> Alright, so now we're actually in the jungle of visions. What new baddies await here? In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the rabbit sleep tonight. With one eye open, because they know he's coming. <laughs> I just pictured the little uh um, Poto. The, yeah, that All guy. Right. Little, Poto. little dinosaur guy. He's the one in the background going. Wingo up, wingo up, wingo up, wingo up. 
I can never unhear though the one song. Pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. Oh Jesus! Pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. Did you ever learn that the English translation to Ha Maria is like, it's a lion, yeah, it's, this is a lion, yeah. it's a lion. It's literally <laughs> just saying that he's a lion. Well, Simba in Swahili means lion. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, they're like, it's a lion, he's a lion, it's a lion, his name is lion. <laughs> just like, wow. Could you imagine all the Swahili people sitting in their, like, theater areas, like, watching this being like... The fuck is this? <laughs> Being like Elton John sucks. We have a beautiful <laughs> language, and you chose. He's a lion. It's mm -hmm. a lion. His name is Lion. He's a lion. It's the circle of life. He's a lion. <laughs> He's a lion. <laughs> like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Speaking of which, the great rabbits they get bigger. They kind of act like thwomps, <laughs> where they just like slam down. Yeah, in, in high school, I was in choir, mm -hmm. which I don't know why, because I don't sing very well. Um, but we sang a song, and half of it was in Swahili, mm -hmm. and it was really pretty, and everyone cried. Oh, oh damn. All righty then. <laughs> Pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. <laughs> Where did you hear that? <laughs> Listen to the song. <laughs> I heard it in the song. <laughs> oh, those are the words that you... That's not like some funny meme. I'm sure it is. But all I can hear is pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. All right, then. Okay, we're no longer going to play that song on my playlist. Pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. Uh, seriously, when we're done recording, so I don't want to blow out the mic with... You oh, know, I've putting... heard the song plenty of times. Oh, I know, but you haven't heard it with the correct lyrics of pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. Oh, oh we're going to go with correct lyrics now. <laughs> All righty. Once you listen to it, you can't tell me that's not what they're bold saying. Bold statement. <laughs> Very bold statement. Go, go, fishing under waterfalls. Oh, we're doing this again. <laughs> no, no, this is fine. This is all fine. Shamanian, <sighs> cast a hex on this crazy woman. Get me out of here. Wait, what was it? You, you did one wrong, too, and I can't remember Oh, what I'm it was. sure I did. It, I'm just blanking at the moment. I did that one, and Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a donkey. I'm familiar with that one, yep. The champagne's tipping over in the sky. I don't know that one. Champagne's tipping over in the sky. <laughs> What's the song actually say? <laughs> the champagne supernova. Oh, okay. Champagne's tipping over in the sky. <laughs> well, there was the one we did where it was like... The Backstreet Boys. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't care what you did. I'm like, no way. You're you like, that's not what he said. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what he said. And then we played it, and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't care I killed what a person. you did. I killed a person. <laughs> <laughs> don't care. What as long <laughs> as you <laughs> love me, love me, <laughs> want me, love me, so. Like, as long as you love me. Uh oh! I killed a guy back in Nam. <laughs> I'm a little one. He's a little. They shrunk me! I've been God. shrunked. I hate that I love Charlotte's, like... Flurry rush? Well, her, like, face. She's got, like, this giant, like... Shit-eating grin. And she's just she's like, like, hi! <laughs> I'm just like, oh my, you know how fucking terrified I would be? <laughs> if you were the rabbi, you'd be like, ah! I'd be like, no, 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 no! <laughs> Eek! Charlotte, No! We're like, oh god, we're gonna die. <laughs> Occasional three times boost to EXP. Ooh, I want that perk too. Four more times for a three times perk. Ooh. Okay, let's get some more little cactus up in here. You know, I really wish they sold, like, Trials of Mana merch, because I don't... It's not popular enough. I know. Because <laughs> I definitely, like, I'm not a stuffed animal person. Uh-huh. But I would definitely want a stuffed animal or cactus. Okay. They have stuffed animals or rabbits. 
That's, that's one of the few, because like that was, I think, a pre-order reward Oh. in my game. It had... I think I would have... My copy of the yeah. game. There were figurines of the six characters, Duran, Angela, oh. Charlotte. They're like 60 bucks, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're like legit figurines. So it was like figurines of them, and then an art book, and a big pillow plush of a rabbi. That's kind of adorable. Speaking of rabbi... Now we got ourselves a rabbi statue that clues us in on the right path. As you can see, there's no map on the screen. You gotta choose the right path. I mean, I mean. Got some random chess pieces in the middle of the jungle. I know, it's like... Some RPGs like to stick to enemies that live in that habitat. Yeah. And then others are just like, oh, what the hell? Because, like, see, Dragon it, Quest does both. It's almost like... I look at that and I see like, okay, giant weird like knight chess pieces mm -hmm. in the middle of a jungle. And I, I think almost like teenager, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And then it's like, I think of these where they're like big scary dinosaurs and I'm like, adult. Okay. Not that it's like an adult game, like kids can't play it and enjoy it. But right. I just like think of it in terms of like kind of goofy, mm -hmm. serious. Okay. Because, like, Yeez reminds me of Xenoblade and how, like, there's ecosystems. Yeah, I you, love it. You truly believe, like, there's the, there's a little prey, yeah. there's a little insects that the right. prey feed on, there's herbivores, there's carnivores, there's scavengers. And then there's just, like, big bad motherfuckers that you don't want to mess with. Yeah. Do not disturb. <laughs> and, like, I really like that. And... Uh, the two series that I think of that does it best are Yeez and Xenoblade Chronicles. Xenoblade, like, really makes it pop because you can see them, like, all interacting in a yeah. single area. So you'll see, like, animals <coughs> drinking from, like, a giant lake. But you also see something swimming around in the lake. Okay. And then you'll see, like, birds flying around that area in the lake. So, see, like, we it's get, a true ecosystem. Like, with Yeez, you get that whenever they reach, like, a cinematic point where it's, like, it overlooks the entire area. You can see, like, the birds okay. and, like, monsters flying around. But when you're traveling through, it's if you see a monster, you fight the monster. Gotcha. It's not necessarily like, oh, they're just here. So the way to solve this puzzle is to always take the route with the rabbites. All the other enemies will just circle back to the entrance. Yeah. This is what we like to call the Death Mountain of the game. So in Zelda, there was a part called Death Mountain where you have to pick the right route okay. to progress further. If you pick the wrong route, it swings you back to the beginning. Okay. So they coined that, like, idea? This is what the fans coined, to be like, hey, it does this. Oh, that's like Death Mountain, because Death Mountain was one okay. of the most popular early instances gotcha. of that. But so it really, didn't, like, coin it. It's just fans will reference it. Yeah, fans will reference so it as, like, that's where it originated from to most gamers. Whereas okay. it most likely came from like even older Atari games like Adventure. Where okay. Like you're just going in random directions trying to find the dragon and the key. Hmm. But it's all about finding, picking the right path to progress. And if you pick the wrong path, you regress. I would be spinning in circles. Well, there's always... The way it goes is, there's like, there's a always sign, a little yeah. clue. There's either, like, a visual cue that you have to keep an eye on. There's a Zelda game where you follow the music. Yeah. And the music did... stops playing when you're going the, the wrong way. Okay. But it, it, the song continues when you're going the right way. There's also instances where you just got to follow a character. Yeah. So it's just like, oh, he, and they'll go faster, but it's just like, all right, he went right. He went left. Oh, where'd he go? Uh, okay. straight? Shit. And they gotta start all over. Now you got these guys that are... Wormwoods. Dragon-like beasts. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I'd say they're the only, like, menacing basic enemy. Yeah. Everything else has a little it's bit cute. of cuteness to them. And even that, they're so pastel. Yes. Well, like, even the bosses are pastel. To a degree. Yeah. Pastel, cell shaded whatever you want to call it. Because, like, this was heavily frowned upon around the PS2 and GameCube era, these kind of graphics, because they were, seemed, like, cartoony and childish. But looking back, because you're not going for realistic textures and there's, like, this kind of, like, cartoon it shade... It ages way it better. aged better, yeah. exactly. 
So I'll just uh, reveal right here that The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker aged so much better than Zelda's before and after it. And mm. also games that were like released around the same time as Wind Waker. Okay. Like, Wind Waker looks really good. Unfortunately, it's still got an HD remake, so it even looks better. Well, it, it has more bloom. Okay. <laughs> so, better? Yeah. Whereas other games had to get retextured and fully overhauled wow. in their remakes to look as good as Wind Waker. And uh, that design is called cell shading. Okay. I'm familiar with cell shading in, like, cartoons and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it's a very popular uh, graphical style with video games now. I first saw it with Dark Cloud 1, and I was just like, oh, cool. So when I saw Wind Waker, I was like, oh, they're doing the Dark Cloud art yeah. style. This is going to be cool. Well, it was, it was pretty neat. Whenever I was um, a framer, I was a... Just in the middle of the <laughs> no. jungle. Um, I was a professional framer for a bit, mm -hmm. and I I had a customer come in that wanted um, cells framed. Oh, okay. So he had a couple different cells, and um, he wanted them framed in a really peculiar way that was like, it ended up looking really cool, but they like overlapped a certain way. All right. Um, which meant that that piece, it had to have weighed at least 150 pounds. Holy cow. Um, because it had several sheets of glass. Okay. It, yeah, it was intense. Shit. All right, here they are. Zablefar. Awaken the never dawn of darkness. I like their teeth. Yeah, their fangs sticking out, yeah. And oh. they got like big oh. ass worm tongues. They have little uh, <laughs> xenomorphs. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Be like uh, space balls where the xenomorph is on a top hat. Yeah. Hello, my baby. Hey, hello, hello, my honey. Babies. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> All right, these guys. I'm just gonna blaze through them. Because once we destroy these two, then the real fight begins. I just, I love the goblin aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Well, I like this head the most because oh, it yeah. looks almost like a jester. Yeah, I like this one the most too. <laughs> And uh, the middle head is going to resurrect the others after some time. And combined, they can let loose a lot of ridiculous spells. But as I was saying earlier, like, it's only like a very strong... Not so much a drum line. <laughs> not so much a drum line, but the first phase before the third head shows up, is the music is... Yeah. Like a, like a death march. Yeah. And then this head comes in, and you think, like, the song's going to be added, but they immediately go to political pressure. Whereas I think it would have been cooler to, like, have the thrump yeah. build to another part of the song. Well, I mean, that's kind of like with Sacrifice Part 2. Yeah. Sacrifice Part 2... Was very heavy in drums, rhythm. and, yeah, it's very rhythmic. Mm -hmm. Whereas we um, found that out about each of us. You're more into, like melodic mm -hmm. music and I'm more into rhythmic. Rhythmic, yep. So. We found that out with uh, most of the songs you selected in your favorite video game music. Yeah. That was a factor as well. Well, not only that, like whenever we were I almost said when we were still dating. When, like, before we lived together. Okay. Um, It was like you would send me some of your favorite music, I would send you some of my favorite music, and you're like, oh, this one sounds kind of like the last one. And then I was like, oh, they all have, like, a similar rhythm. Gotcha. Okay, then. All right, so, she... Well, you know, when we I'm were still being the gender, cute. The third head... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know the third head's gender. The jester head, it is actually invulnerable to your attacks so long as the other two heads are active. But right now, we gotta destroy all these orbs or we're about to be into a world of pain. You got them back. No, it's okay, we got them. The middle head does look very feminine compared to the other ones. Mm -hmm. Like, the other two have kind of like the squared out jaw. Yeah, they're kind of goblin-like. Yeah, kind of hollowed teeth. Hollow teeth? Hollow cheeks. Hollow cheeks. Alright. Um, like a more pronounced nose and chin, whereas the one in the middle has more feminine features mm -hmm. of like a little bit rounder. Yeah. In the face, the cheeks aren't as hollow, the nose is a little bit smaller. 
Yeah, because like I always saw the middle head as kind of like either a witch or a sorceress. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you can definitely tell that like that is the leader, mm -hmm. just because the other two look the same. Yep. They're just different colors, except for right now because they're dead. <laughs> They're both equally dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some health in here. I'm doing pretty good, but this boss can easily is it, wipe is it weird the victory right from under me. But I think she's kind of pretty. No. I mean, she has a good aesthetic. Like I saw nice that fashion choice. I saw the like the profile, and I was like, oh, <laughs> she's kind of pretty. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty when she doesn't want to kill you. <laughs> How about that? All right, here we go. We got to destroy all these orbs. But there's also going to be some gremlins and demons that's going to try to put a stop to us. Oh, shit. And they're also going to be casting spells Ooh. while you're trying to take them down. Uh-oh, didn't make it. Oh, no. Hopefully it doesn't kill us all. Oh, just took out Charlotte. And Reese is almost dead. Yeah, Reese dead. is not that good. Hang on. All right, good. Phew. Yeah, that's a devastating attack. Ooh, oh, shit. Goodbye, Kevin. Hello, <laughs> Kevin. Look at the blood that's just like... Oh, yeah. Just like swirling around. It gets crazy. And there's only just a sliver of their health left. So they're not going down without a fight. Yeah, they're definitely like... Trying the bitches. There we go. If I can just take down the other two heads, I got this fight in the bag. Because I need to lessen their numbers. There we go. That takes care of the demon. Oh, Jesus. Everybody's breathing fire. He is curing the blind on his birthday. <laughs> on his birthday. He is healing the sick. On his birthday. On his birthday. <laughs> I've uh, finished American Dad and moved on oh to God. King of the Hill. <laughs> there we go. All right, the final Benevadon has been destroyed. Dun, dun, but yeah, dun. we're uh, binge watching King of the Hill now. Yeah. I tell you what. I sell propane and propane accessories. I've been blind. <laughs> that's my that's my favorite episode of King of the Hill. Eventually, they gotta leave the nest. Well, Hank, you know as well as I do how many of them dried up dead baby birds we break up off the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason we are drawn to King of the Hill is the same reason we like watching Bob's Burgers. It's it, not it, ridiculous. It's yeah. just an adult cartoon. They're just this in the family sense of doing its a best. Family, like, yeah. And that doesn't mean that I don't love like American Dad or. Family, Family Guy dies. or Futurama or mm -hmm. things like that, because those are still really enjoyable. They're more of like the sci-fi type things, mm -hmm. where it's like ridiculous things happen, like that just wouldn't happen in real life. Not to say that like Bob's Burgers or King of the Hill would actually happen, but mm -hmm. it's definitely more possible. Gotcha. They're just a normal family. <laughs> <laughs> just a normal family doing their best. Yeah. All right. So this was a trap. Our enemies absorbed all the power of the Benevidons. Oh no. So now we gotta take the fight to them and head off to the final dungeon. Kevin's like, where'd they go? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Did you see his little feet? Yep. Wesker <laughs> does that when he has to poop. <laughs> Aww. Check this out. Enchanted mirror. Mm. We'll store this for later. What's up, buddy? Because there's our destination. In the Mirage Palace. Ooh. If we go around through the jungle from the west, we Let's can go. probably reach mm -hmm. it. Flammy! Let's go! <laughs> no, I think we can walk there. I choose you! <laughs> <laughs> no, we can walk there. It's all right. Flammy's like, oh, uh, you, you sure? I know, poor Flammy. <laughs> all right, folks. In the next part, we're going off to Mirage Palace. Toodles!